Removing and Replacing Parts HP 15 FC 0000 Laptop PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Remove the two long P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top of the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the two short P1 Phillips head screws that secure the bottom of the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a flat bladed tool and starting from the top, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement. Align the base enclosure with the edges of the top cover and lower it into position. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure to secure it into place. Replace the two short P1 Phillips head screws that secure the bottom of the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the two long P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top of the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, Use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Peel back the adhesive that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. Remove the speaker cable from its routing channel along the bottom edge of the battery. Remove the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the battery off of the battery connector and alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the battery onto the battery connector and alignment pins on the top cover. Press down on the battery connector to establish a connection with the battery connector on the system board. Replace the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Route the speaker cable through its routing channel along the bottom edge of the battery. Smooth over the adhesive that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Caution, use care when disconnecting or connecting the wireless antenna cables on the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the plastic adhesive that secures the wireless LAN cables to the wireless LAN module. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw to release the wireless LAN module to its spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Push the wireless LAN module down and replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Carefully reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Replace the plastic adhesive 
that secures the wireless LAN cables to the wireless LAN module. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the top cover. Grasp the M.2 solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the M.2 solid state drive with the key in the M.2 solid state drive slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the M.2 solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the top cover. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and M.2 solid state drive. Removal. Peel away the fabric adhesive that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. Partially remove the speaker cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the system board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Lift the left speaker off of its alignment pins on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right speaker to the top cover. Lift the right speaker off of its alignment pins on the top cover. Remove the speakers. Replacement. Place the right speaker onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right speaker to the top cover. Place the left speaker onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Connect the speaker cable to the connector on the system board. Route the speaker cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Smooth over the fabric adhesive to secure the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. How to replace the system fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting or connecting the wireless antenna cables on the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the fabric adhesive that secures the wireless LAN antennas to the wireless LAN module. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel along the system fan. Disconnect the DC in cable from the DC in connector on the system board. Remove the DC in cable from the routing channel along the system fan. Disconnect the system fan cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Remove the system fan. Replacement. Place the system fan in position over its screw wells. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Reconnect the system fan cable to its connector on the system board. Route the DC in cable through the routing channel along the system fan.
Connect the DC in cable to the DC in connector on the system board. Route the wireless antenna cables through the routing channel along the system fan. Carefully reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Replace the fabric adhesive that secures the wireless LAN antennas to the wireless LAN module. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. In the numerical order indicated, remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heat sink and processor components, it may be necessary to wiggle the heat sink slightly from side to side to detach it from the system board. Lift the heat sink off of the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Use alcohol and a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off of the heat sink and processor. Then use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the screw wells on the system board and place the heatsink into position. In the numerical order indicated, replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. How to replace the USB board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge to 90 degrees. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ribbon cable and disconnect the cable from the USB board. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Lift the USB board off of the alignment pin and guide the external connector out of the cutout in the top cover and remove. Replacement. Carefully tow the external connector on the USB board into the cutout in the top cover and lower the board into position onto the alignment pin. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the USB board and press the locking bar down. Close the right hinge. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. How to replace the DC in connector. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the DC in connector from its connector on the system board. Remove the DC in connector cable from the routing channel along the system fan. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the DC in connector to the top cover. Lift the DC in connector out of its cradle on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the DC in connector in its cradle on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw 
that secures the DC in connector to the top cover. Close the right hinge. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Route the DC in connector cable through the routing channel along the system fan. Connect the DC in connector to its connector on the system board. How to replace the fingerprint reader. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the fingerprint reader and remove. Peel back the grounding tape that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader bracket from its alignment pin on the top cover. Lift the top cover up and push the fingerprint reader out of the slot in the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader. Replacement. Place the fingerprint reader into position in its slot on the top cover. Gently press the fingerprint reader down to adhere it to the adhesive on the top cover. Place the fingerprint reader bracket on its alignment pin on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Smooth over the grounding tape that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Connect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the fingerprint reader and push the locking bar down. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless LAN module, M.2 solid state drive, and heatsink. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the top cover. Remove the I.O. bracket from the top cover. Remove the following cables from their connectors on the system board. DC in connector cable. System fan cable, display panel cable, speaker cable, touchpad ribbon cable, keyboard ribbon cable, keyboard backlight cable. Note, the USB ribbon cable and the fingerprint ribbon cables are located on the bottom edge of the system board. Remove the seven P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the left edge of the system board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Turn the system board over. Remove the following cables from their connectors on the system board. USB ribbon cable. Fingerprint ribbon cable. Remove the system board. Replacement. At the bottom of the system board, connect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. USB ribbon cable. Fingerprint ribbon cable. Turn the system board over. Carefully, tow the external connectors on the system board into the cutouts in the top cover. Lower the system board into position on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and top cover. Replace the seven P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Connect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. 
DC in connector cable, system fan cable, display panel cable, speaker cable, touchpad ribbon cable, keyboard ribbon cable, keyboard backlight cable. Place the I.O. bracket into position on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the top cover. Important! After a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and system board. Removal. Peel away the adhesive that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. Partially remove the speaker cable from the routing channels on the top cover. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad bracket to the top cover. Remove the touchpad bracket from the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Remove the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Fold back the keyboard ribbon cable and peel away the black mylar that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Disconnect the grounding tape that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Remove the three P000 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Remove the touchpad from the top cover. Replacement. Place the touchpad board into position on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the three P000 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Replace the grounding tape that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Replace the black mylar that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Position the touchpad ribbon cable on the black mylar and press gently on the cable to adhere it to the mylar. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the touchpad board bracket onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board bracket to the top cover. Route the speaker cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Replace the plastic adhesive that covers the touchpad connector on the touchpad board. How to replace the display panel assembly top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Open the left hinge to 90 degrees. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge to 90 degrees. Note, make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable, wireless antenna cables, and the DC in cable for later replacement. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the DC in cable 
from its connector on the system board. Remove the DC in cable from the routing channel on the system fan and over the wireless LAN antennas. Remove the plastic adhesive that secures the wireless antenna connectors to the wireless LAN module. Caution! Use care when disconnecting or connecting the wireless antenna cables on the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel on the system fan. Slide the top cover out from under the display panel assembly hinges and remove. Remove the display panel assembly. Replacement Note, before installing a new top cover, remove all the components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Replace the display panel assembly. Grasp the top cover near the hinges and tow it under the rear edge of the display panel assembly and fold the notebook closed. Route the wireless antenna cables into the routing channel on the system fan. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade the notebook's performance. Carefully connect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Replace the plastic adhesive that secures the wireless antenna connectors to the wireless LAN module. Route the DC in cable through the routing channel over the system fan. Connect the DC in cable to its connector on the system board. Route the display panel cable into the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the display panel cable to its connector on the system board. Close the right hinge. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Close the left hinge. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and display panel assembly. Removal. Important. Take care when releasing the sides of the display bezel. It is very thin and can be easily damaged. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool and starting from the top, carefully release the top, sides, and bottom edges of the display bezel from the adhesive and retention tabs that secure it to the display enclosure. Separate the display bezel from the display enclosure. Remove the display bezel. Replacement. Place the display bezel into position on the display enclosure. Carefully apply pressure to the edges of the display bezel to secure it to the display enclosure.
How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, and display bezel. Removal. Using a pair of tweezers, take a firm hold of the tab of the stretch release tape at the bottom left side of the panel. Carefully pull the stretch release tape from the bottom of the panel as horizontally as possible until the tape clears the display panel assembly. Caution. Take care to pull the tape slowly to avoid snapping off the tape. If the tape is broken, it will be very difficult to remove the display panel. The stretch release tape on the right side of the panel is removed in the same manner. Lift the display panel and turn it over to access the display panel cable. Peel back the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up and disconnect the display panel cable from the display panel. Remove the display panel from the display enclosure. Replacement. Place new strips of stretch release tape on the alignment locations marked on the display enclosure. Note, refer to the service guide for the position of the stretch release tape. Connect the display panel cable to the display panel and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Turn the display panel over and carefully place it into position in the display enclosure. Press down gently along the edges of the display panel to attach it to the adhesive strips on the display enclosure. How to replace the hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the top of the display enclosure. Remove the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the right hinge to the bottom of the display enclosure. Remove the two small P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the bottom of the display enclosure. Lift the right hinge off of the alignment pins and out of the plastic clips on the display enclosure and remove. The left hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement. Place the right hinge into position on the display enclosure. Replace the two small P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the bottom of the display enclosure. Replace the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the right hinge to the bottom of the display enclosure. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the top of the display enclosure. The left hinge is replaced in the same manner. How to replace the webcam. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Remove the camera support bracket from the alignment brackets on the display enclosure. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool, gently release the webcam from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the display enclosure. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up and disconnect the display panel webcam ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the webcam. Remove the webcam. Replacement. Connect the display panel webcam ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the webcam and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place.
gently apply pressure to the webcam to adhere it to the display enclosure. Place the camera support bracket in the alignment pins on the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel webcam ribbon cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, display panel, and webcam. Removal. Note, make careful note of the routing of the display panel webcam ribbon cable on the display enclosure for later replacement. Remove the display panel webcam ribbon cable from the adhesive on the display enclosure. Remove the display panel webcam ribbon cable. Replacement. Place the display panel cable webcam ribbon cable into position on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to the display panel webcam ribbon cable to adhere it to the display enclosure. Smooth over the adhesive that secures the display panel webcam ribbon cable to the display enclosure. How to replace the wireless antennas. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, display panel, hinges, and display panel webcam ribbon cable. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. The wireless antenna cables are connected and cannot be separately removed. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Using a non-conductive flat bladed tool, remove the right wireless antenna transceiver from the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Using a non-conductive flat bladed tool, remove the left wireless antenna transceiver from the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Remove the right wireless antenna from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the left wireless antenna from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the wireless antenna cables. Replacement. Caution. Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade notebook performance. Place the right wireless antenna transceiver into position on the alignment pins on the display enclosure and gently apply pressure to adhere it to the display enclosure. Carefully reattach the metallic tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Place the left wireless antenna transceiver into position on the alignment pins on the display enclosure and gently apply pressure to adhere it to the display enclosure. Carefully reattach the metallic tape that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Route the right wireless antenna cable along the routing channel that secures it to the display enclosure. Route the left wireless antenna cable along the routing channel that secures it to the display enclosure.
How to Replace the Display Enclosure Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, display panel, webcam, display panel cable, hinges, and wireless antennas. Removal Remove the display enclosure. Replacement Replace the display enclosure. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.